Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Facebook to WooCommerce in 2023. So today, we're exploring or we're going to explore how to expand your online store's reach by connecting it to Facebook manually, by posting alone or even automatically. So, which is a powerful course, Facebook a powerful social media platform, everyone knows if you don't know. And with WooCommerce store, if of course, we're going to connect that together. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically, we'll have to go to the URL section, go to facebook.com and we'll go to woocommerce.com, which is woo.com. Of course, access those both things. Go uh, here on your Facebook, of course. Make sure to go and uh, create a page. First of all, you can create a page and post your like WooCommerce products in here. Make sure to have or utilize high quality images with some description, variation. If you have it, just add this in there. Just go and do all of that because uh, as you can see, this is the integration like uh, which is manually. You can do it manual. Other than that, of course, you'll have to go again to WooCommerce and login first of all to your account if you have an account if you don't you'll have to go and create an account in the meanwhile i'll just go and open my local host so i can access my plugins and of course make sure to have a store if you don't have one just go and create one add your products of course and you'll be good to go now go and access your plugins of course because we'll have to access our like wordpress dashboard navigate into plugins which is this one of course go and click on add a new plugin so of course uh, add our plugins and search for like Facebook for WooCommerce. As simple as that. So scroll down in here and search for plugins and type Facebook for WooCommerce. As simple as that. So we'll have to wait. Yeah, here's this as you can see. So Facebook for WooCommerce. Get the official Facebook for WooCommerce plugin, uh, uh, plugin for like two powerful ways to help uh, grow your business including an ads extension and shop tabs. And you can see it's by Facebook. A lot of people use a lot of active installation. So make sure to install it for me. As you can see, it's already installed. So make sure to install it if you uh, don't have it installed. And after that, make sure to activate it. Of course, before, you can even click on more details to read more information about it. So you'll be able to see description, installation, as example, uh, change log, what they changed in the recent like uh, updates, and even the reviews of other people. Like you can see some people are giving it one star, some two, some five. So you sometimes sometimes you never know because you can read of course all of that to see what's about like why they're giving it one star why getting two star why getting it five star and yeah of course so for us this is the only like uh, plugin that we can use so if you don't like it i, I don't know you you may just have to uh, sync everything like manually go here to facebook and start posting your of course store one product by one product every variation with description high quality images of course this is actually very useful don't like uh underestimate that it's actually like facebook is very 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 useful to if you want to like get your products into more people especially you can utilize some ads uh, very cheap ads like five bucks you'll be able to get some I don't know, 2,000 people seeing your products. If they are very, very good products, you will get a lot of sales. So don't underestimate that. Of course, you can go here to plugins. example, as I said, just go and download it and activate it. And what they're telling me here, so Facebook for WooCommerce could not be activated. The minimum PHP version required for this plugin is 7.4. And I'm running 7.3.14. So yeah, it seems like, okay, I close it like... Um, what they'll need to do is simply go and upgrade my PHP version. So if you, of course, uh, having this issue, you'll have to just go and do that. Of course, even, okay, and that's cool. When I find this option, which is like learn more, as you can see, the plugins does not work with your PHP version. So the article here is very good. As you can see, it gets a faster, more secure, uh, secure website uh, updates PHP today. So we'd like to update it. As you can see, this article will show you how to update it. So you can go, and read all of that i'm not going to to update this of course it's very simple so you'll have just to go and read that do it and you'll have it updated once this is updated just go and click on activate and of course once installed then you will find it on the installed plugins so just go to it as an example and yeah i guess this one 
So grow your business on Facebook. Use this official plugin to sell more products using Facebook after completing the setup. You will be ready to create ads that promote your products. And you can also create a shop uh, section on your page where customers can browse your products on Facebook. So as you can see, as simple as that, make sure to even enable the auto updates. So it can always like updates by its own if they have a new update for it. And yeah, now, of course, you'll be able, once it's activated, you'll be able to configure the Facebook WooCommerce settings. So you can go to your settings and uh, like configure the Facebook account within WooCommerce, connect to your WooCommerce first, and even then uh, like customize the settings. Then, uh, of course, you'll have to go and create a Facebook shop if you don't have one already. If you have it, just go and connect it and follow the prompt, of course, to upload your product catalog to the Facebook synchronized for your products for seamless like integration. If you don't want to do it manually, you can do it manually. All of that is not working again. So, of course, uh, after that, make sure to create like your product collection. You can organize your products into collection on Facebook and group like similar items, create categories and optimize your product listing for easy navigation on your Facebook shop. And yeah, I guess after that, you can sh uh, even customize your shop appearance. Uh, you can tailor, of course, the appearance of your Facebook shop to align with your brand. You can choose the layout, images, and customize like the shop design to provide a co cohesive uh, shopping experience. Make sure to even enable the shopping features. You can activate the shopping features such as the product tagging and checkouts on Instagram. If applicable, you can do that through Facebook shop. And of course, you can allow customers to discover and purchase like products seamlessly. Uh, after that, you'll be able to test the shop functionality. So we can conduct a test purchase, as an example, and product uh, interaction uh, within your Facebook shop. You can simply click on the products and see if everything's working correctly. Go and uh, proceed like checkout experience. Ensure that product listing, checkout processes, and interaction work smoothly. And promote your Facebook shop to your audience, create engaging posts, uh, run some ads, and even leverage the Facebook marketing tools to drive traffic and sales to your WooCommerce store. Of course, you can use like uh, Facebook ads for that. So you can go or just go to ads.facebook. Okay, I don't know. It's, I don't know if the right URL. So you can simply just type Facebook ads, go to it, and it's Facebook slash business slash ads. Just go and uh, start creating your ad, your campaign, etc. You can utilize like uh, something uh, for email companies like uh, Mailchimp or something like that. So go and do your whatever you're good at. You can even hire an ex experienced or professional to do the advertising for you. And yeah, I guess there you have it. So you've successfully connected your Facebook with your WooCommerce store, expanding your WooCommerce presence. So thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And yeah, I guess that's it. So I'll catch you in the next video. And thanks for watching again. Goodbye.